If you're trying to get the most out of your CPU with an Escape from Tarkov, there's a neat little trick you can do with Process Lasso to dedicate more of your CPU to the game. To do this, we'll be messing with the affinity on your CPU to set as many cores and threads as possible to the game, just to see if it helps with performance. To do this, the tool that you're going to need is Process Lasso. Now, if you guys are above the age of 5, I understand that you probably know how to go to bitsim.com and download it for yourself. The link is in the description. Whenever that pop-up comes up saying that you need to, you know, purchase a license, just hit continue and you'll be able to go free into the application. You don't need to purchase a license. When you get into the application, you're going to see something like this. Now, I won't be going through every single optimization you can make in this video, whereas I'm just going to talk about specifically core affinity and how to let Tarkov use more cores. So right now, as you can see, if I go to my escape from Tarkov.exe, you'll have to find that yourself, and I go to CPU affinity, I can go in here and see all the cores in my computer, including logical processors that I can use for this application. But right now, it's using the six performance cores, aka main cores, for Tarkov. If you guys don't know how Intel 12th gen processors work, essentially there's the performance cores with higher clocks and hyper-threading, and the efficiency cores, labeled with an E, that have slightly lower clocks and do not have hyper-threading. To change what cores Tarkov uses, just hit Select CPU Affinity. Now that we're in here, we can easily change the CPU Affinity to use any of the available cores. For example, if I just wanted to use all the physical cores on my CPU, I could simply check the extra four efficiency cores I have on my PC and then hit OK. For most of you though, who don't have an Intel 12th Gen CPU, you'll probably just have the opportunity to turn on hyper-threading or the logical cores here. I'd recommend turning each one of these on and testing if this gets you any net gain in your performance. I see the most game with this method when I'm not actively recording, I don't have many background tasks open and I'm simply playing the game, and I only see this benefit occur when I am in those low GPU usage scenarios. And it's not much FPS, normally about 5 to 15 maximum that I saw. But if you guys are struggling to get the most out of your CPU in Tarkov, this may be the way to get you that extra bump in performance. So try it out and let me know how it worked in the comments below. I'm gonna have a refurbished CPU improvement guide coming soon. I just wanted to get this video out to you guys so that you guys could test it and give me your results as I found a very slight improvement with the efficiency cores. So I will be running Tarkov like this from now on. Like I always say in my videos, I don't wanna bullshit you guys and say that this is some crazy improvement because it really isn't. But if it gets you guys a couple more FPS when you're playing, then it's worth it. So try it out and let me know what you guys think. With that, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, etc. All that dumb bullshit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Clem, walking out. Later. <laughs>